Hello everybody, Heroes of the Geeks here in Willer Harvard, part 14 of the Al Mohat Caliphate campaign. I'm not sure how many turns we are since we last played because I've not played this campaign for a while. And it should also be the first part I actually been recording with my new monitor. Because the last two parts were pre recorded before I had them. So here we are. So I hope you enjoy it. And um, you find actually quite an army that's really good. Um, um, again, uh, really bad against what we actually have. We have like a really cavalry focus army, but means I think we should be able to really smash towards uh, through their um, slingers. Who so I'm going to already attack on this side because I think that's the better option. Uh, these, this guy is too to supported by infantry and so on, so we can't really attack that. But attacking this side already is possibly uh, the better option. And um, this actually the order turn before was actually turn 100, so already. A hundred turns into this campaign. That's actually quite a long time, but uh, I've been really enjoying this campaign, so definitely will continue it. And I will not possibly. I'm also not going to launch like a new campaign uh, for Medieval 12, 12 until like the new patch comes out. I'm not sure when that will be. If you may, if you know, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will try and search out for myself. But um, that's a bit that, so I can focus on maybe a different style of campaign. But uh, yeah. Um, that's definitely up for that, and I hope what they bring in the next patch is maybe a little bit less of what, um... Everybody by the damn run! Alright, those stones will drive them away, mostly. No! Now, we might lose that one. Uh, over here, though, we are winning. Although, no, we're actually not. The slingers are actually winning. <laughs> oh, crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not good at all. I would have expected actually the slingers to like die off, but um, nope. No, no, no. The slingers are actually winning, so we're screwed. On that side, so oh dear, and let, let's fast forward on a little. Um, but yeah, um, I'm now curious to see because I don't think we're actually going to win that. I thought we were actually going to like win this against the slingers, but uh, no, actually, we're actually losing decisively, so we're screwed. Um, this one actually it was the only one that did actually decently, the rest were absolutely slaughtered, but I'm surprised about. Although they actually did actually quite well with like sending in most of their uh, yeah the cavalry, so yeah, not good. Oh, that was a lot of friendly fire, wasn't it? But uh, yeah, not good for us. This uh, that uh, was an uh, underestimation of Dashlinger units, to be honest. I didn't expect that whatsoever. Huh. Are these guys like better then? Come on, Slingers, you're the ones that I uh, that attacked. Right? Are you kidding? It is far not too tempting to just not attack this side. I'm just going to do it again. Screw it. This side is far less supported by all the infantry that they had, so I'm just going to see if we can attack it. Oh, they're okay. They're already coming. But still, like what the hell? Right, I'm still going to attack then. But now we just have to go and smash into like uh, those 
those ones like one on one or two on two because I think that's the best way and I hope that's uh, now going to work possibly the same Saturday to be honest but uh, I'm not going to lay the Minion Light Cavalry to be honest it's not the plan yeah, that is what I expected to happen but that didn't happen like before so that's not great if we're honest so Alright, let's continue. Let's go to normal speed. Go crush him, crush the crush them, crush them, and then attack those gen attack the general. I'm just going to push through. Go after the general right away. It is, he's far too isolated. Oh, look at that. They are actually coming as well, so. Is that also general? Yeah. Alright, so that's one general dead. Perfect. Good start. I'm also going to bring all my slingers this way. Continue pursuing the general and then... Go down now. Ah, oh, come on, really? One? Oh, that's the last one. Please kill him. Right, both of the generals should be dead, or maybe not, if that other unit isn't dead. Oh, oh, sorry, guys, I clicked on the wrong button there. Oh, these guys are going to be getting pantsed. No! In the formation, you dim witch! Ah, crap. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to charge them in the back because I think that's the best uh, the thing that we can do here. And I'm just going to try and hold this like line. Hopefully, our uh, cavalry can join in loiter. I'm still surprised the uh, they are eager, even with the generals there, but this isn't great. I'm just going to hold my line for now and just see if I can, um, yeah, hold the tide. I'm not going to try and uh, turn my general just yet, that's a bit too early because I'm not too sure. I'm just going to hope that my infantry can hold and just get spapper. It doesn't really matter if we win here because that basically just will p repel the armies of the... How does Viking called? I'm not... Um, Numidi... Numidia? No, this is Numidian Slings, but I'm not sure what this faction is called. I actually don't know. I pull you out actually and um. Go after that one. Yeah, these cavalry seem to be a little bit better than the ones that we had before. Oh my god, they've been shot to death. Well, I'm just going to leave them, let them do it because I possibly should have done that. Now I think of it. Ah well, that happened, I guess. Yeah, okay, now I have to discharge him with the general. Go after those ones, go for it! I think this looks definitely better, but I'm not sure. Yeah, have a break with our uh, with our army, but should we meet? Jesus, my general did a whole lot of better job. Of course, he's also just shock cavalry, so it makes a little bit of sense that he does a better job than um, than we would. A little bit, not much, but a little.
Come on, Slinger, keep firing. Now that way. Well, that was it. We won. The war is ours. Or oh, at least this battle is ours, I should say. It was a bit in doubt because I'm not, not sure what's going to happen, but I think we should have done that from the start with the, at least over there, like attack like full front because cavalry are effective, but they have to do it in, like in numbers, especially not melee calf. They are not too great, and especially light melee calf don't see be. Oh, these are actually medium, so that's why they actually evolved better than the ones over there. Because I'm pretty sure those ones we engaged over there were not um, like medium cavalry. Ah well, we're not able to go to catch everybody, I think, but still. Go and continue. Alright, I will go to the campaign map and I'll be back in a second. There we go, we won. Uh, against the Kingdom of... Oh, Kingdom of Makuria. Mak I'll read something like that. Uh, I will just take the uh, weapon management, that's fine. Nice. Those pushed them back. I was actually planning to go to Cairo actually with that army now. I'm thinking of it, just trying to take it, but why won't? We're sending, of course, already an army up by the air to come over towards this side of the uh, factions. It's overall not too bad, but uh, I see when the turn ending has been uh, completed. Well, we got a rebellion in Alexandria, but it's unfortunate. But uh, seems like my allies already fixed that problem for me, so that's good to see. And let's attack them over there. Ah, uh, you bastards. You're starving, so... Really? Okay. Um, do we want to recruit now? I want to kill off that uh, uh, that army. Thank you. Yeah, I wouldn't mind retreating, to be honest. Oh my god, they have actually got a big garrison. Dear lord. Attacking that won't be an option then. Um... Yeah, I was surprised why did why did, this one is so unhappy, but mostly because of the Eastern uh, Christianity and Catholic Christianity is over here as well. So, yeah, that doesn't help it out too much. But we definitely need like as the U bit, uh, as the Alma Caliphate is just a, a building that um, adds awesomeism or however that they call it. The thing is, there are mods for it, but those mods basically make it so that religion is no longer really a points basically every building gets a massive buff and that's a bit unfortunate i would have possibly got some of those mods to make it a little bit more handleable like uh, it is not bad like the thing is like a building it is is quite good but it also helps out with of course penalty that's why it is actually quite low here and like only although we still have 80 percent that's mostly because i've been uh of course, building up that um, this one does 50 and this 30, I and mean, if you get the last one, there's almost 10%, 90% is like not uh, there anymore. And the thing is, though, we now actually have to go down here with this army. Unfortunately, we have some bloody annoying Brabandians attacking us, so that's not good. And um, actually, I have this army. Okay, we'll send this army over there to deal with that, and this guy can go and deal with these. Um, Portuguese rebellion, I guess. I hope I'm in range. Which I'm not, so there's a chance they might attack at this turn. Mm. Wasn't too great. Well, well. Hopefully these guys can win against the Brabants. I'm just gonna get more stuff, maybe, if I can. That's decent. Can get a couple more slingers, I guess. I would like to get like the two more cavalry in this army, then it's mostly a nice crappy stacky. It's always a nice one. And we're also getting more money, like 11,000 a turn now. So that's actually good. And I'm thinking what we also could do to actually uh, lower the amount of... How much do we pay for taxes? Like there's a minus four. 
Again, some provinces that is just going to tip it towards a little bit of nether and nicer balance, like over here as well. Still religion differences. And by the dam. I'm going to put you down here actually to help us out with that uh, religion. Unfortunately, here over here it is now going down because of building um, mm, squalor. Although it is actually going up, and this one as well will help it out as well, so that will be a bit nicer. Uh, I will send the king over towards here to help attack the rebels of Aragon. And we'll also have the journeys coming up again. Oh, it's actually going over here. They actually took this back, but of course we also have the Holy Roman Emperor. Hendrik is coming. Yep, he is coming too over here. Thinking of attacking, and I totally forgot about that. Oh dearie. Ooh, I was just in time. Oh my god, that was a close one. Actually, I'm going out of that and actually put him over there, and then I can quell the rebellion later on. Barcelona. I might actually upgrade Barcelona too, because of course it is a settlement that we can then also protect and we can afford the upgrade. Because I think it is 30 right now, so we will be fine if we do that. Uh, Palma is also mostly fine now, it is still a really good uh, province. I'm just going to try upgrade that. Um, let's take a look. Actually, if we can actually not upgrade this. But if we this one, okay, we don't have the money for that this turn. We have no normal taxes right? How much? Are you? Yeah, 2,000. It is so... It is only minus 3, right? Minus 3 totally. Yeah, over here it's like taxes, like 1. Rebellion's in 3 turns. Over here we got the non-positive public order. And these guys just keep attacking this freaking annoying stock. And they just keep attacking it. So I can't really do my deal deal with that right now. I'll send them over there afterwards. Uh, but I'm not going to go for the low tax, sorry. I may even go for the high tax for a turn. Um, yeah, these guys are mostly dead. They have an army over here. Um, the prince is just going to march forward towards uh, uh, the Holy Land, I suppose. And uh, hopefully he can do some stuff over there. And he will try and hold this province against the uh, foreign invaders. I might have to send him over to Palma to help out over there. We just have to go and see. But anyway, let's uh, enter in and see what happens. Well, it seems to be time for freaking war, isn't it? Fr France has come to attack uh, the city of Toulouse. Who we are definitely going to vent because I think we have a chance. But uh, it will be a difficult one, that is. Uh, they have crossbows, so they will be mostly useless in the coming battle. So that's great. And uh, let's go and get in and make them pay for it. Because we, of course, have an army close by who can a night attack. Which means we can definitely try and uh, annihilate uh, a lot of the French in this battle. So let's go and do that and I will see you in a second. Oh yeah, this one. This is a good map because we have there played with this one before and we did quite well. If I remember correctly. Uh, we absolutely annihilated an English army, if I'm correct. But this day we don't have any pikes, so that's going to be definitely different. I'm just going to start off with my slingers. They're going to come over here. They actually have to make like a breach. And um... I think that's going to be quite nice. What I did before was like had here these guys, and um, we'll have the slingers. As well. Why not the slingers will actually stay here because that one will then be over here. And the archers are all coming over here. I have no idea what the the rest of the army is going to come from, but that's for later. These guys are now over here, and uh, we have to if we have to go to retreat to the main yeah port or whatever. We're going to do that too. And maybe we can also like wipe um, one of those onagers that are coming from the reinforcement army out with um, some of our own men, I don't know. We we'll just have to go and see, I guess. Okay, where is their artillery? Their artillery is over there, so I definitely go to shoot there. Shoot, whoa! Alright, let's go. Start the battle. I'm curious to see if they 
Oh, they're actually not in range, really? Okay, so... So, the reinforcements are coming from that side. That means we are actually quite well defended. Oh well, here we go. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting battle. Massive siege of Toulouse. Oh! Wait. Oh, those are not the three piece I wanted to shoot at. Now I think of it. Ah, crap. And uh, wait, you're not in range? Oh, I want those spikes. Shoot on the pikes. The pikes are the ones that we have to go and get rid of. Oh, there's going to be a long while before they're going to do anything. So, I'm going to uh, do this on my own until they actually like done. Because I think I can do... Yeah, that's the only thing I can really do right now. So, I'll be back in a second when the action is going to start off. Guys, I just noticed that I didn't actually deploy any of my freaking... Uh, Barricades over here, so at this point I might have to follow them all into here. Yeah, that's not going to work um, I will send them right over here because I now have to actually go and defend the freaking gatehouse because otherwise I cannot actually uh, Think of defending all of this stuff um, And they're definitely going to get to the gate right away So I'm going to send these guys over here to Start defending it although I have to actually wait before we do that because otherwise they will um get a lot of damage down before me so that's going to be interesting because I uh, did not expect that to be the case how many kills you got? 29 yeah this is definitely going to this is definitely going to change the overall battle setup because it means uh, we are going to have to um, do some different stuff instead. We definitely have to go and defend on this entire wall because otherwise there's a. Um. Okay, here we go. They are going to get in. Thing is, though, I'm not going to get them in. Let them get in in any form of way easy. Not going to work. I'm going to deploy them right here, and you guys are going to stand here and go to hold your fire until I say you shoot fire. I'm just going to, yeah, start firing. Oh, that one is bugged out. Okay, great. Oh, oops. Didn't thought of that. But still, it's going to be an absolute butcher if we are not going to be able to get rid of those spikes. Alright. They will continue firing, I guess. Or they, did, they didn't do it. They didn't, they didn't have, they didn't have enough uh, ammunition. Although they are having their uh, freaking um, extra units. So I will send this guy out and start attacking those on a girl. If there's like one freaking point they can get in, that's the best way for us, basically. Not sure what you have on, but... Um... Slingers, come over! Why are you not firing? God damn it! Fire! Fire up on those freaking pikes. Those are the only ones I'm really scared about, to be honest. Oh, what? The, the freaking cavalry getting through. No. Come over here. In the spears. Hurry up. Right, Arches. You are coming over here. Not sure how, but they are. Okay, oh, we need to kill off um, the king, or at least, I'm not sure, at least one of those leaders, or you want to have any chance. For some reason, the frick, there's already somebody, 
They have pretty bloody, bloody true come true here already. And le at least there's a general, so hopefully don't kill off my archer because I need the freaking archers. Go, go, go damn it! Hurry up and help them out. Oh, there's going to be such a slug. Thing is, they would only fire on this guy, who is getting some good kills. Like, I basically want the pikes dead because the pikes are the ones I'm most scared about. No, you're just going to stay there, and I think I'm just going to use your fire at will because otherwise you're not going to really fire where I want you to go and fire. So, what? Did we had an advantage yet? <laughs> I really have to get rid of that unit. If this one is going to fire. Oh, it is actually not a freaking Orager. Okay, so they basically have like one entry point. So it is now all on the archers to start firing and do some stuff, basically. And um, the infantry to hold the bloody line. Unfortunately, we're already starting to have some problems with these lingers. Come on, slingers, form up already. I've okay, I will cl keep clicking, but otherwise you're not going to do it. Come on, fire. Oh my god. Fire upon them, then. Is that alright? No, okay. Fire at will, then. I will see what happens. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, that's good. Great to see. Yeah, there's basically a blob fight now. There's not much else that I can do about it. <laughs> Ah, oh, so unfortunate that he's like out, cannot fire normally. That is unfortunate, to be honest. Well, it also works because they don't like don't have like two separate uh, fire abilities. But you can also fire upon these guys, you know, like on the on the on the crossbows. You don't have to fire upon any of these units. You're doing a good job, but. Don't seem to me he's like really firing. How many kills you got? 125, jeez. That's a lot. But it's a bit glitchy because this is just a lot of units in a compact area. That, that, yeah, in total war that just, that is guaranteed for a little bit of glitching. Oh my god. Get me the oil! <laughs> oh my god, like, they have got him some kills, right? Yeah. How many kills do you got? Well, he's standing like in the front. He got already 70 kills, so that's decent. How many? How are we doing? All right, so we have killed 600. That's decent. Nothing great, but decent. Yeah, like this, this, this blob is basically not helping. I'm actually, what I'm going to do actually is what I'm, um... Is, uh, I'm going to bring two archers over here. Basically send them over towards the out of this gate. 
together with this sword unit. And then we'll, we'll go over and envelop this side of them. And uh, hopefully a Karadin the Knight can deal with these crossbows. That would be great. Of course. I was mostly worried about their bikes, but they blocked up so much. Sometimes it's actually better for the uh, for the enemy, at least, we, at least in medieval self self it is to have the enemy have actually, uh, yeah, have some have some artillery because they basically will like waste most of their ammo and they don't have don't have enough ammo in that way. And then most of the times they, uh, yeah, screw up, basically. As we see here, and it will cost them a lot of men. And you just have not been firing, have you? Yeah. Basically, a death sentence for uh, them. Look at that! Like they're, they're like around. What is it? Three thousand men in this blob. Basically, so. Yeah, and I think most of these guys possibly have actually died from their own men. Well, I'm thinking of it. By the archers, actually. We don't really have like a really good firing arc. Because they're like basically, yeah. I think most of these guys have died from uh, friendly fire. I guess. Oh well, it doesn't matter too much. Are oh, you yeah, fucking kidding me? Well, good day, Grenadian Knights. Absolutely been slaughtered by the crossbows. Ah oh, well. We tried. Every unit is dead. Like, really dead. <laughs> oh, these guys were also firing, I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. I'm actually going to try and fire with some, some weak ammo upon them, if that's possible. No, get up. And the archers, how have they done? I'm kind of going for a normal shot to see if that maybe they make a little bit different. To see how increasing their firing rate, I don't know. Just no idea. Now I would love to have like the Dividend Impera one that allows me to uh, fry from that angle. Unfortunately, the really didn't do well. It's a bit unfortunate. We have to see how that uh, will progress, I guess. God damn it, you two. Okay, get in there. Right, let's them all run. Don't really know what you're going to do. Fire already. What? Oh, you're firing there? Are you are firing the right way? He isn't. Oh my god, he's firing right into uh And they as well, aren't they? Where are you, how are you firing? In a, like an angle? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is not because of the game, but just the amount of blocked up unit that is basically uh, causing this entire thing to not be alright. More or less. <laughs> 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 
Fire! I'm curious to see like how is that going to affect her? They're going to lose follies. Yeah, one shot, like seven gills, nine gills, so yeah, it is uh, decent, but yeah, it is really glitchy, but that is not because of the game or on the computer. It is basically all of these guys blocked up in a really contained space, but it's not um, but that the computer doesn't like. And of course, nah, not the computer, the game. <laughs> <laughs> this game is not meant for this amount of units blocked up in a uh, group. Oh, you're being shot up by the... Uh, Fire! Will ya? Oh, this is going to be a mass route now. Alright, let's do like a fire uh, fire arrow. That will, that will do morale damage, right? No idea if that actually does it. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that in Rome 2 that was the case, but I'm not sure if that's the case still in, like the, the like Attila. I'm really tempted to charge just one of these guys in. Uh, you're not going to catch him anyway, but you're going to go in here. You're going to go after them though. Cross, there's so many units actually now escaping. <laughs> Oh. oh my god <laughs> Can you go and find normal shots again? If you can, that's always better To be honest Everybody, get in! They're in, in that, in the, in the, in the, in the blob. I don't really mind actually about those units. Just go over here and start killing. <laughs> All right, let's fast forward because it is going to be basically a blob fight. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> well, not 75? Oh! Oh no! Really? Okay, so the STR are sending in still reinforcements. Oh dear. Ah, that's not so great, is it? Okay then. That's good to know. Thing is, I just had to go and kill off as much as I could here because otherwise, would have regretted it. <laughs> How many kills are you getting now? Out of curiosity. Oh my god. How many kills? 91? What? 
How on earth do we have 91 kills? Alright, so they are, they are still bringing their freaking man. I'm just gonna go here and I'm fire at will. Most of all these archers are going to do all the same. Don't really know how that was going to work, but it's going to fire it away, I guess. Everybody, stand a shot for now because I don't really know what they are going to do. Ah, crap. Get up there again, please. No, for the melee attacks, thank you. Put him up this way then. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> very, very cool. Oh my god. Although there's now also a lot of my own, but still. So many kills. Well, the thing is, we're still sending. We're still getting in freaking other reinforcements. So, the siege of Toulouse, media. Puh. That um, it was an unexpected result. I am not really unexpected, but still, it has um, been an absolute bloodbath, to say the least. Look at that, like how many are still like retreating. Unfortunately, that's it. I'm not sure how many they've killed, but a lot, I think. I'm not sure how many they've lost, but some of these units have so many kills. Especially the archers. One of these things is like around 300 kills. It's archer like 300 or something, not more. You go get to that side of the wall. Yeah, there's now mostly this, so I think there won't be happening much else, but me like trying to take out most of these annoying uh, yeah, crossbow units. So I will be back when I have dealt with them. And um, yeah, if something else important happens, of course I will be back, so I'll be back in a second. Well, we have sort of won. Uh, like, we have like one left. I basically had to like lure them in, and um, in the end I chased them all out, but what? A gore and death. <laughs> So many deaths, but I think they escaped with quite a lot of the units at the end. Still, I think they, yeah, I think they still have lost a lot. It was a good battle, and this may be a chance for us to maybe take Montreplay. But like, I think one of their armies was in that city, but I have no idea. Maybe we can take it. Depends a bit. But uh, yeah, the, the episode was quite long already, so I definitely went it after this one. But uh, we're now going to have to basically take down one more annoyance called the freaking Ballista units. With 30 men who thinks he still has a chance against 760. Thank God. Alright, I see you in the campaign map. Here we go, not bad. 
uh, we killed off a lot of them around half and I think we'll just uh, we'll do that because it gives us a little bit extra money although I actually need to replenishment because I've no idea how good this will be the thing is how merit yeah, uh, I hope the damage is like a little bit spread because it means I can take them out with this army next turn do we really have made peace with England I have no idea if we did okay it's going to be interesting what yeah Oh god damn it. Ah, they're really coming here with them freaking priest. I have to send some of my uh, assassins. Like how far are we actually going going away from um, getting another Imperium level? Because I would love to have some extra uh, spies. Oh, we actually can actually recruit a spy. Let's, so I actually do that over there, I guess. This actually might not be too much of a bad idea. And you will give me some nice thousand. Thank you very much, the Hasidit Sultanate. For that little bit of money. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Well, here we go. The uh, army of Browald actually attacked this force, so we have to fight it ourselves. We will do that, but we'll do that in the next episode. Uh, again, thank you for watching. This was part 14 with a huge siege, but we dealt a really big blow against France. Next episode, we'll see the outcome of that and what we can uh, gain from that victory. And hopefully, maybe more to play. And over here, we're going to start off in the next episode with, with this battle. Again, thank you for watching. This was Heroes of the Greek with part 14 of the Almohad Caliphate for Total War and Medieval 1212 AD, but more for Total War Attila. Of course, if you want to check out the mod for yourself, link down is below if I'm correct. Otherwise, I will put it down anyway. Thank you for watching and have a great day.